<laughs> what if Spoiderman worked with the CIA? Hey, yeah, basically. I mean, Rico stopped working with basically the CIA, but I mean, yeah, he still did. the shipments. Send in your troops. Oh God, I I vaguely remember this, and I'm having. I. Um, troops on their way. Enemy forces. Dropping one of that. Um. How silly do I want to be? How silly do I want to be? How silly do I want to be? I don't have um, mort a mortar, mortar emplacement, but I do have. They're trying to commandeer a weapons shipment. Destroy it immediately. I'll hold them off for now. No further contact. Our units, stay alert. Oye, Rico, supply drop inbound. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright. Alright. Come to mama. This is not close enough. I said... Feek! Come on. Come on. Don't do me do- No! Where are those troops? Almost there. Who, who blew me up? Moving too fast for me. All right, come on, you. Do what I want. All right. And I can't see low enough. This is hell. Know what? Operation. Oh fuck! I. Operation. Just fuck. Replace weapons. I am a mobile. I am a mobile weapon. Fuck. And I failed. Womp. Did it get struck by lightning? Oh my god, I got struck by lightning. I forgot that that could happen. Actually, I don't think I've ever used the lightning gun while on this mission before. Oh, fuck that guy. <laughs> Operation oh, fuck. Ah, I was hoping that the rail gun would be cooler. Oh, fuck. Ah, the t the countdowns are still countdowning. Called up the shipments. Send in your troops. Troops on their way. So much is exploding. I'll hold them off for now. Now I feel like I should get some sort of bonus or something for pulling off a combo. <laughs> like, like. I feel like that's not not like you know. So where are those troops? I'm like, hey, I did some cool shit. Let me uh, get a combo. Oh, you know what? Speaking of destroying bog- Hey, hey. Ugh. Fuck. Ugh. Oof. Oh yes, uh, I was having some thoughts earlier. After reading an essay about, like, uh, what was the name of the game? Let's see here. Oh yes, uh, Red Faction Gorilla. About how like that game has some really good kind of 
leftist potential that's kind of from? lacking a bit. We can protect this and ship, Enrico. There's another nearby. Yeah, he did yeah. do a fetish plant now. right on the pavement. Um, okay, still have three minutes. We are doing a lot of violence. I feel like... Oh, one minute. Alright. Alright, so we're not out of the water yet. But, oh yes, right, uh, I guess we can talk about that more. <laughs> what? I'm less distracted. Oh wait, there's another shipment. This game. That hurt. I was like, oh, this is going pretty calm. I'm surprised. Try it. Uh, come on, game. This is What's blowing up? Please, there's so much explosions. Alright. Hey, I, had, I thought I had a moment to calm. I did. Let's try to survive, though. Almost out of ammo. Alright. Alright. Let's go. Alright, this is still up and operational, so I can hack There's it. One more that we can grab. Which Just another unit may be stressful. Shipment. They're coming. Whew, all right. No. Hostile in our area of operation. Acknowledge, intruder on site. All units engage. Anyone that may have been in that port body. Alright, so. Assume I can get more ammo quickly enough. Goodbye. Or not. Okay. Just save some for me, Sargento. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. Gaining squads and getting a tank. I should have dropped in a tank. That would have been smarter, actually. Ten squads. 
Nice. Prize fighter tank, eh? Alright, let's do some stuff as we uh, clear up. Oh, sorry. Hola. Oh, spider tank, the best part. <laughs> Watch underscore dogs. Oh yeah, the spider tank. I remember that from Chip and Ironics' playthrough of it. Yeah, that is honestly the best part of Watch underscore dogs. Copy. We acquire target now. One less blimp. Ah, oh, God, I love doing that. I love doing that. <sighs> Nailed it. All right. more seven more before um stone drawer uh oh, not oh close slash far all right um i don't know how long this will take no it yeah let's let's do something exciting let's do the wind wind walker and if I still have quite a bit of time after that, I can go back and do uh, the the training missions, whatever. Or what are these even called? Yeah, the the Army of Chaos training missions. All right. Oh wait, what? Um. Henry Hong. It is? Okay, that looks like... <sighs> now it, it looks like one of those... Uh... Why are these missions called? I know they have a name. Like, where they're kind of random missions that can happen. Uh... Are you... No hey, way, if it sounds cool, we'll do it. I gotta go for your big screen debut. You think you can give me a lift? Now what? Sure. Let's let's give him a lift real quick. Um, not in our <laughs> in a railgun artillery cannon, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Ah, environmental missions. Yeah, kind of. Like I, I I looked up the just cause four wiki for something, and it had like a specific name. Oye, Rico, supply but I forgot bomb. what exactly it was, and I just can't remember it. Also, I don't mind the uh, whole car being airdropped. I'm Henry. Henry Hong, Garland's location scout. Stories I could tell you, man. Worked with her ten years. I started as one of her. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I found out early she's physically incapable of hearing the word no. I ended up in the hospital a couple times, but I always came back. No excuses. That garlic calls me the invincible Henry Hong. Huh. Hi everyone, I'm a video game pro. <laughs> I love this dumb car. Best Uber ever. It, yeah. Yeah, Rico Rodriguez, the best Uber ever. Fucking gets, fucking airdrops a car just to drive you around, and it's very, very tough. And 
has no corners <laughs> about going way too fast and destroying everything <laughs> in his path <laughs> to get you to where you need to be. All right. Thanks, my man. See ya. Okay. <laughs> All right. those off screen because they're not too actually if there's one close how far away is that no that's incredibly like these are some of the uh, side mission kind of stunt missions I've been doing like uh okay I need to be going fast enough that I've been doing like off screen okay I need to actually line myself up with what I want to jump on, that'd be the smart thing to do. Mm. I don't... fuck off. I am good! Ah, almost 360. And my card still didn't blow up. Wild, but... Um, what was I gonna do? <laughs> yes. Let's do a big story mission. That's three point. Alright, oh yes, now that I've... Alright. Now that it's relatively more chill, I say, as a uh, helicopter is a game. Anyway, and as, as I was saying, as I have some time to relax, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to steal your car, I meant to steal my car. Or not steal, whatever. But yes, as it's relatively more chill, uh, I've been thinking about Just Cause 4, and like, if I had the chance to make my own version of it, just because I've been thinking about like, uh, Red Faction Guerrilla, which is basically revolutionary insurrection, a game, but not as radical as you think it'd be. But more radical than, uh, well, kind of more radical than you would think it'd be, for the fact that it's, you know, like, open world, destructathon game. But it's like very much you're fighting against the corporate interests that want to uh, take advantage of workers on Mars. And it's very much like being led by people who are working on Mars. And, and like, yeah, it's weird. And I read an essay someone made and even linked to retweet it on my Twitter about like if they had a chance to make more, even more revolutionary. Uh, Red Faction Gorilla. Right, it was pretty good. It kind of run because, like, okay, that game wasn't, like, it had a lot of potential for for kind of radical, like, anti capitalist stuff, but didn't quite meet it head on. And this game is lacking some of that, and I'm like, uh, you know, there's just some things I'm thinking of. And one thing to help, you know, like, you know, uh, you can have army of chaos like soldiers whoops uh sorry you're just ending your whole deal there but you know, like army of chaos <laughs> sorry <laughs> oh i want to care more about the, the people in this game and the civilians than just send someone up into the sky um as i was saying though like you know you can have Sorry for just ending your entire existence. But I am a protagonist, man. Um, oops. Um, wait, what am I saying? Oh yes, I'm saying that, like, you can have Army of Chaos soldiers come fight with you, but, you know, 
it, we didn't really have a uniform or anything, so it can be kind of hard to tell them apart from just, like, random civilians. And also, they don't really look like they ever get, like, defensive gear. Especially whenever, like, you know, Rico's running around with, like, lightning guns and can call forth wind cannons and, like, point them wherever he wants. So I've been thinking, it would have been really cool if, like, you know, as you unlock some of these, like, weapons and items or whatever, that, like, your, the Army of Chaos Troopers would be, like, given upgrades as well, so that, like, they would be safe from Rico's nonsense. And, like, but I still like the idea of Rico being struck by lightning, so I love, like, my, you know, diegetic reason in-game why, like, Rico would never get any of those cool upgrades that make him so that he doesn't get, like, blown away by tornadoes or, uh, no longer cares about being struck by lightning, is that they would make him too immobile, and Rico would be like, you'd try on, like, a suit of, like, lightning-proof armor and be like, what is this? This is too, this is too heavy. I can't, you know, grapple around. I can't fly like this. I would fly like a rock. And just, he never gets it, but, like, over time, as your troops get better, like, you know, that, or, you know, that you're, that the army of chaos gets, you know, better equipped, that they actually look the part, you know, like, they start off as just, like, civilians rebelling and, like, end up, like, a more competent fighting force. Stretch my legs. Right, and, like, that would, oh, what? Have fun, asshole. Okay, that was really awkward for literally everyone, including myself. Absolutely. Not what I plan to happen. Come on! Let me... No, what? Let's just do the mission and then ev this magically gets taken care of. I'm in position. Perfect timing. We've got a tornado. Bueno, evac the city. I'm already on it. Cesar, check in. Copy that. I'm following the tornado. Storm Chaser's performing beautifully. I'm on my way to Nueva Boss. See you soon. You hear that? Here, Rico. Say again. Mira, the Black Hand are trying to secure the wind cannons. Mierda! If we don't destroy them, they'll deflect the tornado, and our plan is fucked. Continue to the city. I'll take care of the wind cannons. I should have. I'm heading for the wind cannons. Mira, if the Black Hand are here. See, si, they know what we're up to. One our troops. We're in for a fight. Everybody, the Black Hand are on to us. Kick their asses. Um, I guess I should have explained more, or er, a refresher for why, or like the whole plan or whatnot, but basically, to. We can the main like weather machine. Like we're trying to hack into the different like uh, different parts of it to try to send you know sci-fi or you know spy movie where you're gonna send a virus you know kind of up the like the path from like because each one of the main machines are connected to 
the uh, the Found main the cannon. machine. Easy. Destroy the combustion chambers on the side first. Okay, probably not doing good job, there, but yes. Right, so we're trying to, you know, because the main villain uh, lives basically on the tower that is protected by an eternal, bl basically an on-call blizzard. So to disable that, we're trying to, you know, go up the path of the different. Uh, there we go. Now uh. destroy that rear intake barn, and the wind cannon is useless. That's one down. Fun times. I should reload. Alright, but yeah. And our plan was to, you know... Uh, whenever that, like, that, uh, big drone-looking thing flew over, you can, uh, make a tornado to basically get that, uh, send it towards the capital, like, evacuate the capital, send that tornado thing with the wind cannons, with some of the wind cannons towards the city, like, kind of keep it locked down, and there's another wind cannon. Oh, it's up there. Uh, to hack, or, you know, to put a dongle. A hacking USB dongle. That's all the cannons Hell on yeah. this side. There's one more wind cannon on the other side of the canyon. On my way. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, overall what we're planning to do. I feel like there's an easier way than just not remembering. Oh well. Oh, actually. <laughs> Let me just blow myself up, actually. That's that's the battle plan. That's not the battle plan. That's absolutely not the battle plan. Whoops. There's one more wind cannon on the other side of the Thanks, canyon. Thanks, game. On my way. Where is that other side of the game? All right, so I'm facing it currently. Sensor reporting. The tornado is closing on Minavendavan. Fast. I'm working on it. We need to get this tornado through the mine. Better hurry. Thank you, Cesar. But, oh yeah, so saying though, like, it'd be really cool if to kind of show, like, you as the player and your, uh, and the army of chaos growing together, like, if they would actually get, like, armor to help the, or, like, you can do extra stuff to give them armor so that, you know, they can follow you into battle and not, you know, you don't have to worry about destroying your own teammates by, uh, lightning. 
because you're using a fucking lightning gun and the storm grenades, which just have like they do tremendous damage, but they just they fire it, they just those lightning strikes are just completely indiscriminate. You're alive somehow. Okay, no, you're not. Uh, somehow didn't hit that on. Them. 